investigate. A traffic signal at a busy intersection has been broken and covered up for three months, making for dangerous driving. But tonight, Action 7 News gets results. Reporter Regina Reese joins us to explain that a day after our story aired, the city approved money to get it fixed. Well, Doug, I'm here at Coors in La Monica, which is near Rio Bravo. This is a busy area. Area. You have a Walmart right there. Hundreds of cars coming and going every single day. But take a look here. You have Coors. Cars are going 50 miles an hour. And when we pan up, there's that traffic light. Black covers on the lights. It's been like that for months. But now they're about to get fixed. These traffic signals on Coors near Rio Bravo have been busted for months. Power lines knocked out the signals during a windstorm in March. It basically fried the entire system out there. Residents understand Mother Nature may have caused the damage, but what they can't believe is that these traffic signals have not been fixed and it's been more than three months. It's unbelievable what it is. This is unbelievable and it is unsafe. This should not be happening. On any given day, at any given time, Coors is bustling with semis, buses, and cars. And without the light, drivers turning from La Monica have to dart through four lanes. It's just a very unsafe situation. It's just something that's waiting to happen right now. A fatality is just waiting to happen. The city's take? Whether it's safe or unsafe is a judgment call. The sheriff's department confirmed there have been accidents here since the signals stopped working. Action 7 News exposed the problem on Tuesday. A day later, on Wednesday, the city approved money for the repairs. Finally, after months. I don't think that we've ignored the problem in any shape or form. Could things always have happened faster or quicker? Sure, we always strive to do that. The city explains PNM needs to put up a taller pole so power lines don't hit the traffic signal again. Plus, it's going to cost more than $100,000 to replace the traffic signals. Apologize to the residents down there. This is moving forward, and again, it did take a lot of different coordination. Now, even though the money is approved, it's still going to take several weeks for the repairs to be completed and these traffic signals to be working again. Reporting live in Southwest Albuquerque, Regina Ruiz, Action 7 News. And the city is considering shutting down La Monica so drivers don't use the intersection until the repairs are done. Right now, people living in the South Valley are trying to clean up after last.